my goodness, we are back again, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. The title does not deceive you. Ferrari have officially signed Fred Vasseur. But even more surprisingly, Andreas Seidel out of McLaren to Sauber. Let's talk about it. Welcome, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Raz Bori, Santu, Matthew, Vizlo, Alex, Kai, Lewis, Matthew, Laddie, Jack, Frank, Junkins, Smooth Operator, Thomas, Zetrox, Fake Jose, Cena, Azam, Ken, Nico, Harsh, Harvey, Metro, Puku, Forge, Justin, Yo Yo, Bailey, Tina. Welcome, everyone. Thank you all for coming. <clears throat> I did my live stream yesterday. I still got a bit of a cough. I apologize in advance. Um, about Yosuke Pito and Francois Xavier de Masson leaving uh, Williams. And was like, oh, it was a bit exciting, you know, a bit, bit of news. Wake up this morning. Wake up this morning. Fred Vasseur's been announced at Ferrari. And I'm like, okay, you know, it's pretty big. Um, kind of, he saw it coming very much. It was kind of the the main name that was being associated with the job. His close relationship with Charles Leclerc, having worked with him when he was at Alfa Romeo in his first season in Formula One. Um, you know, I don't. It's not. Is it the most inspired signing? No. Is that what Ferrari need? The Ferrari need a super exciting, you know, risky signing. Probably not. I think someone like Vasseur is probably going to come in, steady the ship somewhat. He knows what he's doing. Has he proven it at the top team? No, it didn't. You know, he didn't work out for him when he was at Renault. At Alfa Romeo, it's been not amazing. Um, but obviously, Ferrari's a completely different kettle of fish. When that opportunity comes up, also, typically, you, you, you jump at it, not just as a driver, but as a as a manager as well. <coughs> so, you know, in terms of appeasing Leclerc's side of the camp, I'm sure this this does somewhat. Um, bringing someone in who, who knows the sport has been around, been about for a long time. That's cool. But then, we saw rumours first, and then just before I started putting the graphics together, it was confirmed. Not so much that Seidel was joining Sauber, being the surprise, but it, it, it's the fact that Andreas Seidel is leaving McLaren. I think that's the bigger kind of shock to me that he didn't... Look, obviously, with, with Audi coming in and taking over Sauber, um, that team, and we've talked about this a lot, that Alfa Romeo Sauber team is going to become a lot more um, enticing from a, from a driver point of view. But also from a from a personnel point of view, from a from a senior personnel point of view, with, with Audi cash in there, with a company the might of Audi taking over. Andreas came from Porsche. That's where he was before he joined Formula One, before he joined McLaren. Obviously, that's all part of the VW Group. So there's a connection there somewhat. I um, mean, he's actually joining as CEO. So I guess you know whether he'll be team principal or not remains to be seen. Um, but he's joining as chief executive operator to begin with. Um, yes, yeah, Seidel is, is German. <coughs> um, but I've got a few statements up that we can talk about that. And yes, Melanie, you also point out that Andreas Stella has been promoted to team principal for McLaren. I feel bad that I didn't actually put a graphic together for Andreas Stella, but ultimately, he's not the big news compared to Seidel and Vasseur today. Um, madness. Thank you, mate, or Mate, for the, uh, for the super chat. What do you reckon this means in terms of change of personnel at Ferrari? I mean, strategy team, race engineers, etc. Love from Hungary. You, well, look, obviously, back to Vasseur, like, you do wonder, will he bring anyone over from, from Alfa Romeo? And look, again, we, we talked about this... Um, we talked about this with, you know, the idea that if Fred Vasseur gets offered the job, he kind of has to take it, not just because it's Ferrari, but you anticipate that Audi will want to bring their own people in when they take over. And 
this is the first sign of that. You know, he, he's connected to Audi, the VW group more broadly anyway, and he's a fantastic team principal. You know I'm a massive fan of Andreas Seidel. So for him to take that vacant slot that Fred Vasseur is leaving, and obviously it was, it, it was rumoured that Ferrari went after Seidel as well. So for Seidel to reject seemingly, it might not have, but seemingly reject Ferrari and reject McLaren for Audi speaks volumes, you know, speaks volumes. So we've got a few statements that I've got up and um, got ready. So let's have a little look. Um, yeah, who takes it? Big question, who takes the job at Williams? That's the biggest question of them all. <coughs> so Fred Vasseur appointed Scuderia Ferrari team principal um right let's see what's interesting in here 25 years of winning commencing junior formulas because you remember fred Vester. which team did fred Vester start chat come on where's your knowledge which uh which junior team junior formula team did fred Vester co-found i'm not telling you you can tell me there we go well done everyone pat on the back some of you definitely just copying other people <laughs> Uh, but yeah um, yeah so Vasseur was CEO and team principal of Sauber Motorsport so obviously with Seidel becoming CEO of Sauber now that doesn't necessarily mean he won't also function as team principal um, you can kind of do both you know what I mean um, claiming GP2 series in both 2005 and with, yeah I forget he won it with Rosberg and Hamilton didn't he that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty mad. Um, Benedetto Vigna, which uh, that name rings a bell for a reason, because I'm I'm doing a video around Ferrari at the minute. I'm working on. Um, blah blah blah. Just a bit of waffle. Delighted. Yep. La 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 la. Okay. N n nothing. Nothing that interesting beyond that. Um, okay. So let's look at Sauber now. Andreas Seidel on the Sauber website. I think they could have got a better photo of him. I'm not going to lie. Like, this is the photo I used in my thing as well. But he just looks a bit like he's a white shirt on a white background. Just looking a bit like... He's not even smiling. He's just there. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, Sauber Group appoints Andreas Seidel as Chief Executive Officer. Thank you, Amar, by the way. F1 Silly Season is getting too silly. You are spot on, buddy. You are spot on. Um, did it... <laughs> He's just, a, he's just a floating head, exactly. Um, I'd like to announce Andreas Seidel as new CEO. Start his role in Jan 23. Um, do, do, do. Started a career with BMW F1, which he did. He worked with Seb, um, I think, when Seb was briefly with Sauber, wasn't he? I can't even remember. Wait, so actually, yeah. BMW's Formula One project. So he he was at Sauber, right? Because BMW it was BMW Sauber, which is well anyway whatever. Um, team principal to Porsche, um, Le Mans, blah blah blah. Takeovers from Frederick Vasseur. Um, yeah, Seb was with Sable when they were being double, yeah. Um, team Rich History in Formula One. Uh, yeah, I know really well from my time working and living in Himwell for four years. Yeah, so, so Andreas is returning to a team that he has been with at the part in, in the past when it was BMW Sauber. So there was that somewhat of, of a connection there as well, I guess. Um, and obviously this was back when BMW Sauber, that was a half competitive um, team you know as well <coughs> yeah there's no confirmation if Capito is retiring they did mention he prolonged his retirement to um, to, to take the Williams job but it's not confirmed that he's actually retiring now but maybe um, yeah can't wait to work with the team blah 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 and then Finn Rousen who owns Sauber at the moment boom bit more waffle there and then McLaren Racing Andrea Stella she goes out with her mate Stella. McLaren Formula One appoints 
Andrea Stella as new team principal with immediate effect. Andrea Seidel leaves the team for a new challenge. Man, that's that's tough, man. That's tough. Because because I genuinely yeah look, again you you know I I, I back Andreas Seidel as the doorbell is ringing I might have to um I might have to I might have to briefly pause you lot a sec let me just put you on on the intro screen I'll be two secs I'm back sorry everyone <laughs> we move anyway Andreas Seidel uh, leaves the team Andreas Stella joins um what are we saying here. Anything interesting? Um, yeah, been a key member of the team since 2015. Head of race operations, performance director, and executive director of racing. So it's kind of he's stepping up into that. I, I do wonder if, if Stella's going to be seen as the kind of a long-term choice or whether this is just kind of a short-term um, plug because obviously he understands the team. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But... Um, at the end of the day, if your name's Andreas or Andrea, then uh, it's all popping off at the minute. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. <laughs> we just got some. Uh, we just got some plumbing work going on downstairs. Um, but yeah, Zach Brown delighted to appoint. Uh, delighted to appoint. Appoint Andreas Stella as team principal. Boom, boom, boom. Um, yeah. It is what it is. It's all changing, McLaren, isn't it? With Oscar coming in. And now Andreas Stella taking over from Andreas Seidel. Madness, isn't it? Madness. Absolute madness. But yeah. What do we think, people? What do we think? It's, um, you know what? So, for Serta Ferrari, I think, I I'm, I'm open to it. I'm, I'm not, I think it's probably probably a good call. And I think, you know, how much of it was, you know, did, did Fred Vasseur know that Audi were looking to bring Seidel in? Slash Sauber looking to bring Seidel in? Um, potentially, maybe. Um, you, you, for, for this to all... This must have been in the works for a little while for this all to kind of be announced so kind of simultaneously um but i do wonder which which was first you know was it Seidel getting approached by um Seidel getting approached by sauber was that first or was it for sir getting approached by ferrari which what kind of prompted this because because it does kind of all fit into place quite nicely you know audi have got their xvw porsche man in charge and Ferrari have Vasseur to take over um, Bonotto, who knows Leclerc and has all these good... So it, it's kind of all fit together quite elegantly, you know, um, in that instance. So actually now we're just kind of waiting on... Um, we're waiting <laughs> waiting on Williams to sort it out, you know, pull their fingers out. Um, and yeah, obviously, uh, I do also wonder... If, yeah, McLaren is, is Stella... A long term, I don't know. I don't know. It it does certainly seem like, you know, McLaren have had to be the reactive ones here. You know, like Sauber and Ferrari have gone after their people, and then McLaren have just kind of had to. Okay, let's just promote Andrea to team. He understands the team. He was already already senior race race director. Let's promote him, steady the ship somewhat. See how he does, I guess. Um, obviously, with Lando and, and Oscar next season. Um, and hopefully, Andreas Seidel, you know, again, I, I back Andreas. I think he's fantastic. And hopefully, he's set some solid kind of uh, foundations to grow on, to move on from, you know. Williams lost technical director as well. He did. What if Audi hires Bonotto as chief? Look, I mean, it, yeah. Could, could Bonotto go to Audi? He is Swiss. Bonato is Swiss. He was born in Switzerland. Um, and that team is Swiss, Sauber. Um, so, I do wonder. Be interesting. Very interesting to see. But yeah. Not much more to say, really. Um, that's kind of it. So, thank you all for coming. 
big news, big news. Again, reminder to anyone who's just turned up. Um, Ferrari have confirmed for Eversa. Seidel is leaving McLaren, joining Sauber. And Andrea Stella is replacing Andrea Seidel at McLaren as team principal. Pretty mad. Seidel wasn't team principal. Lol. That argued. No, he's, he's CEO. But Trevor Sir is also CEO of Sauber. So just because he's going to be CEO doesn't mean he's not going to be team principal. Because Trevor Sir was both. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Right. I'm done, everyone. Thank you, Hope, by the way, for the, uh, for the super chat as well. Big up. Appreciate it. Um, and thank you, Gustav, as well. Um, do you think this will hamper McLaren's progress? No. I mean, most of that kind of direction is set already. So, so I don't think it would make much of a change in the short term to McLaren. Maybe long term. Um, maybe long term. Thank you, Matthew, as well, for the five Aussie. Just got here. The world's gone mad. Yes, mate. It's gone off. It's gone crazy. It's gone crazy. And thank you, Sedan, as well. The 50 rupees. Alonso McLaren return. Don't know. No. No chance. I know Andrea Stella is Spanish. I think, isn't he? Pretty sure he is. But no, that's not going to happen. No chance. Not He's not leaving again. He's not moving again, Fernando. He's just joined Aston Martin, for crying out loud. <coughs> right, I am actually done now. Thank you all for coming. Drink water. Enjoy Team Principal Silly Season. And um, I will see... Is he, is he Italian? My bad. Why did I think he was, a, he was Spanish? For some reason, I thought he was Spanish. <laughs> Never mind. Right. Cheers, everyone. Stay safe, be well, be happy. And I'll see you when I see you. Video later this week. Cheerio.